what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we got our first look at dewey over the past week or so courtesy of brian tyler who we know is composing the score for scream aka scream 5 which we know is coming out in january on the 14th of next year not to say that he intentionally did this he was kind of like just uh panning around the whole room and then of course us being the snoops that we are we see something on his uh what looks like computer screen or something like that some screen in the background and if you zoom in that's clearly david arquette in character as dewey we see he has a mustache as you see here on his screen and we all went crazy over it those of us who are obsessed with this franchise anyway and can't wait for this sequel so we had our first image of dewey he looks looks exactly like dewey looks like a clown in my honest opinion with that mustache but you know david arquette again he does his thing in that role uh, the character, I love the character. I love all of the main main trio. Dewey's character just, of course, is a bit obnoxious. He is obnoxious. He does come across a bit useless. That's kind of been what his whole running gag was as a for the first three films, I would say. And then they tried to make him serious with what he was doing in screen four. But then Jill beat him with that pan and I, I i didn't take him serious ever again i don't think i'll ever take dewey serious as a character <laughs> i will say that he is very um very useful and he means a lot to sydney and his presence in these films is not is it's not a waste just but just because of the stuff that he does and how he relates to the main character of this narrative sydney prescott if it wasn't for his connection with sydney i would have argued that dewey should have been gone a long time ago i'm i'm, I'm just being honest but other than that, I want to talk about when we can expect to see or what we should start to expect seeing over the next two months or so. Because we know in August there's going to be a, a convention where Paramount will have a panel and they'll be up, they'll be highlighting their upcoming slate of films that they have coming out in 2022 later this later this year for 2021, I'm assuming, and also leading into 2023 that I'm also thinking they'll do as well. So. I'm thinking in July, since we know Fangoria will have something related to Scream, we're hoping since the directors will be having an interview in the in the in that magazine, apparently, from what I recall you guys sending me. And we should expect, I want to say, a poster in July. And then at this event in August, that's where we should expect to see the full fledged trailer. So I want to say that in August, we'll get our trailer and we'll all go crazy about it and we'll get to be excited about it and will all just be hopefully set until we get the film in january but i know once the trailer comes out depending on how good it looks we'll want to see more and more and more and more and more and more and more what i am more interested in in at this moment is seeing a small teaser once we get that then i want to hear this score because again brian tyler if any one of you who are venturing out to see Fast and Furious this weekend, Brian Tyler scored that film. He scored plenty of the other Fast and Furious films in the past. So if you're even someone who is a fan of how the Fast and Furious films are scored, that's Brian Tyler. If you're a fan of the Ready or Not score, that's Brian Tyler. If you're a fan of, I think, Final Destination 5, that's Brian Tyler again. For those of you who watched Those Who Wish Me Dead, that was Brian Tyler. This man is very good as a film composer when it comes to what his score does to the film and amplifies the sequences that go on on screen and add intensity to certain scenes at certain heartfelt moments to certain sequences going on as well even when they aren't deserved like a lot of the stuff i felt in fast and furious 9 but his score kind of makes you give in to certain things that otherwise wouldn't be as deserving if it didn't have that music behind it so he's a good composer. I want to hear these pieces that he has put together for Scream. I'm again hoping that he has some renditions of other themes played throughout the other films. And I want to hear that Ghostface stuff. Since there, apparently there's some type of theme or cue that we'll have in the film titled just simply Ghostface. Ghostface getting his own theme. I want to hear that specifically. Really excited to hear what that could sound like. I know that would be very exciting to hear. So hopefully we'll get to hear something from this score over the course of these next two months july and august i'm just throwing shots in the dark at this point i don't think we'll get to hear the score the most we'll probably get is that poster and a teaser the teaser i'm expecting to be at the convention in august with paramount unleashing or highlighting its upcoming slate of films that it has and then the poster in july at some point during an interview that I'm hoping comes out because we know that that the director and one of the producers they had a they came together and they did interviews we saw those pictures of them with the green screen we all saw those things everybody was sharing them like crazy we've we've seen that stuff where well, there's a lot of stuff that we can look forward to when it terms when it comes time to talk about like marketing and what to expect for screen five getting 
hyped up just in time for its January release. I'm hoping that if it doesn't get pushed up, that it doesn't get pushed out. I don't want it to get pushed out any further. You're going to dump it in January. At, w at what other point would you want to dump it if you're going to move it out? It, if you end up having to move it from January, move it to... Honestly, just move it to October. I'm just going to be honest. Just move it to October 2022. If they were to move it from January, I'd prefer them to just release it in October. Just in terms of the fact that I think that would help out the box office. But then again, Halloween Ends comes out in October 2022. So who knows? <laughs> if they have to delay that film, I don't know what they're going to do. But I hope they can stick to January or in, in fact move it up to release earlier this year. But I know I also talked about them potentially showing the whole film at this convention in august that's still a possibility because they have shown those movies they've shown movies in full length at these at this particular convention before however there are a lot of factors that make scream a different case that would also lend to us kind of not wanting to get too hooked on an idea like that i am going to say that i will be standing behind that just for the fact that if it happens i'll be very excited about it I'll remain hopeful that it happens, but there are still very realistic reasons why they wouldn't do that given the nature of the type of film that Scream is and the stuff that goes into uh, how those films play out and the stuff that they have been trying to do since the production has started, which is prevent leaks, not have the ending get out, not have all these other things come out that we aren't supposed to know about before they want us to know about it. And getting to that, actually, a studio or the studio itself, that I think, where they shot a lot of the interior shots for the Stu Mocker recreated house. They tweeted out a tweet saying, talking about or just teasing that a teaser is right around the corner or we could expect a teaser soon as you see in this tweet here. So, you know, we're going to get something. I think the hype is going to start in July. I think that's when the marketing will start. I can't wait to see what they have in store for us with marketing. Can't wait to see what they do later on throughout the year we know we're expecting to get like a repackaged 4k release of the original film for its anniversary so I, I know a lot of you are looking forward to that but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below what you think about that image of dewey if you haven't make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews i'm going to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video